Well, good evening, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. And channel members, channel members, channel members, it is finally live and active for you guys. Um, I appreciate all of the channel members that I have. You have done so much to help this channel grow and become what it is. What it is exactly, I, I really can't tell you, but I want to thank you. So if you go to the community tab, there is a link uh, for members only to uh, to our website where we'll be able to keep you up to date with everything that is Joe Boo Sports Report. Make sure that you get your Joe Boo Sports perks, uh, let you know about upcoming uh, things that we're going to be doing, Zoom calls and so on, and your chance to be able to help shape and grow Joe Boo Sports Report uh, by letting us know suggestions and ideas and things like that. And, and also a way of us to kind of get together and kind of grow a little bit closer together. So make sure you go to the community tab, hit that link and take care of that because we're going to make sure that we take better care of you, our channel members. And so here it is. It is Friday afternoon and um, the Cowboys, of course, have already gone through their practices. We're hoping that tomorrow that Tyron Smith can practice. But one thing that may be helping to make a decision for the Cowboys not to play Tyron Smith may be that the Atlanta Falcons, as far as edge rushers go, are rated about 30th in the NFL. So this might be another good chance and opportunity to say, you know what, big fella, let's rest up for the big big guns that we'll be facing. And, and we'll work and get some extra work in for um, our, our, our tackles out there. Get them some extra work and things in there. Let you rest up so you can take care of the big guns and things. Uh, tomorrow we'll also find out about one Aaron Rodgers, if he's going to be able to pass COVID protocol uh, when he was last on with Pat McAfee. He said that there's a chance that he might not be able to play. Um, regardless, he'll have gone through the whole week without actually having practice uh, before going to Seattle to take on Russell Wilson with Russell Wilson coming back from surgery on his finger that was broken. But the whole Aaron Rodgers situation is just kind of giving me that bad taste in the mouth. You know, that cod liver oil that you had to take a spoonful of when you were a kid. Your mom said, you know what? You need to take the cod liver oil because it's good for you in your digestion. Here, take a spoon of it. No! Yeah, it's that kind of taste. But the more I think about Aaron Rodgers and what he gets away with, it's insane. Because it's not just the fact that, you know, he broke the COVID stuff. I don't know if you remember uh, about a year and a half ago when COVID first happened. And Dak Prescott and and uh, Des Bryant and Zeke Elliott and Amari Cooper, they were getting together and just working out together. And, you know, lo and behold, they were saying the NFL needs to come down hard on them because they're breaking COVID rules. And at the same time, Tom Brady was working out in parks uh, that were closed with no repercussions. I remember the same time that they were condemning Dak Prescott, I believe it was Trevor Lawrence. It may have been Trevor Lawrence who was working out with all these scouts and stuff, and they were doing videos of it, and I'm looking at all the people that were there. There were more people that were there working out than was with Dak and stuff. And, and then, lo and behold, you know, Dak got it and said, okay, this is going to be the case. We're going to build a field in our backyard. We're going to take care of this because we're going to build a field in my backyard so that way we won't have to worry about it. And he did with his own money. But you'll remember, even when he allegedly had a party and the talking heads and everybody was talking about the NFL needs to find him, the police were called because they got this massive party and TMZ put out pictures of where they said that the seats were so close together. Turns out those pictures weren't from Dak's house. They were from this restaurant that was in Texas that had nothing to do with Dak Prescott's party. So we, we look at how that combination came down on Dak and, and, and everything, right? And we look at this with the NFL with, with of course, Aaron Rodgers and the $14,000 fine. But even beyond that, okay, because it's insane when we think about C.D. Lamb getting picked on about his socks and, and uh, the, the shirt being untucked. But it goes even beyond that. Okay, 
because this this is another one of those things that nobody is kind of putting the putting it together let's forget about the whole COVID situation okay forget about that okay well, even beyond that what i want you to understand is is this L- let me show you guys something here okay this was the dallas cowboys versus the new england patriots okay the in overtime the last play of the game and here we go Dak goes back, throws, hurts his ankle, C.D. Lamb, touchdown. Now, did you notice that that he got hit late in the play? Let, let me show it again. That he got hit late in the play, right? The ball, you can see it right there. The ball is clearly across the line. The game is over, and dude pushes him way out of bounds. That should have been unnecessary roughness, right? So after he gets blown up out of bounds, we see CD right here. CD does the wave. He waves bye-bye. That's it. Doesn't say a word. Let's let's look at it again. He waves bye-bye. He gets $10,000 fine, Right? He gets $10,000 fine for taunting, okay? And I know what you're saying. Well, yeah, but, you know, this is, doesn't count against, you know, uh, compare with the, the whole COVID thing. You know, uh, that the Green Bay Packers, they got fined, you know, $300,000, and now he's put on notice and, and so on, and he'll have to wear a mask and, and, and so on, you know, and, and follow the protocol rules and stuff. Okay. I get that, okay? But let's compare apples to apples. Because a few weeks before, a few weeks before here, this is a similar situation that we have. We have the Green Bay Packers versus the Bears. And the Bears who are, are who we thought they were. The Bears are who we thought they were. And Aaron Rodgers... Gets a game-winning touchdown, right? Let's go to the team. Rodgers snaps it quick. Pressure coming. Scrambles to his right. Pumps and runs. Aaron Rodgers is inside the pylon. Touchdown. He gets touchdown pushed out of bounds. Pack. Okay. First day. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't show you the tape, did I? Hold it. Let, let, let me. Uh, this is where broadcast media. This is where we suck. Okay. Let, let me show you again. Rodgers. Rodgers snaps it quick. Pressure coming. Down. Scrambles to his right. Pumps and runs. Aaron Rodgers runs is in. inside the pylon. Gets Touched hit out of up. bounds. Okay, gets hit out of bounds. And immediately, discount double check. Discount double check. Okay, now I get it. There's not a player that's over there. He's doing that to the whole team, right? Okay, but keep watching. Packers. It's Rodgers running now for the gets score. Out. He starts yelling to the crowd, taunting the crowd, taunting the crowd, and saying, I still own you. I still own you. He had some choice words there for the crowd. (laughs) And it's, okay, you you heard that, right? You heard them, you heard the announcer say, he had some choice words for the crowd. The announcers say he had choice words for the crowd. He was talking shit is what they're saying. And in fact, the next day, the show's, oh, Aaron Rodgers, oh, you know, did you hear Aaron Rodgers out there talking? Oh, man, he he put a foot in the pack of Bears' ass. Oh, my God. And then he let him know, I still own you. That ain't taunting. That ain't taunting. You're telling me that's okay. That's okay. But C.D. Lamb's doing this to one guy is different? Or or you can taunt the crowds. You can taunt the crowds and say, what do you want to the fans? But don't, 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 don't. 
say it to another player. And this is in lies the problem with Aaron Rodgers. They created this monster where he can do no wrong. It doesn't matter what Aaron Rodgers does. It's okay. You can taunt the crowd. It doesn't matter. You can break COVID rules. It doesn't matter. But if you are the Dallas Cowboys, if you are Dak Prescott, if you are Zeke Elliott or Amari Cooper or uh, CeeDee Lamb, they're going to come down hard on you. Aaron Rodgers, ah, that's just, Aaron's just a diva. That's okay. It's okay. It's not okay. It's some bullshit. Because I don't care which way you go with this stuff. I really don't. As long as you are consistent across the board. Be consistent across the board. Don't play favoritism to one guy and then not the others. It's not right. You can't tell me, because as I'm watching that game last night, as I'm watching the game last night, you know, Miami, they, they deserve to celebrate. And, and I don't have a problem. I honestly don't have a problem with what Aaron Rodgers did or CeeDee Lamb did, okay? In the moment of winning, that's great. I love it. But the rule is the rule. Don't enforce it against a certain group and not the others. Be fair. Be equal. Do the same for everybody. And this is where, for so many years, watching some of the hits that Cam Newton would get jacked up after the Super Bowl against uh, Denver, that first game, that, that, that was... That was, a, I mean, that was an old school beating that they did. That was y- your grandmother telling you to get a switch off the tree, and it better not be no weak switch that's going to break. She was going to whip your ass, kind of beaten. And I see Tom Brady get touched like this, and it's 15 yards. We got to keep this stuff consistent because when it comes to the Cowboys, we don't seem to get any kind of breaks, and it seems like we always, always are hit harder than everybody else. All right, y'all, channel members, don't forget to check out that link and go ahead and get that filled out. I'll be getting notifications. Let me know that you're there. And the good thing about this will be is uh, when you become a channel member, I'll know if I sent you the shot glass, I'll have a record of it, and um, we'll be able to make sure that you're there. We'll be able to keep you up in touch uh, with, you know, if we're going to do meet and greets and different events and things, we'll be able to send you like a little newsletter. We'll be able to send you like a birthday card and stuff like that. So channel members, appreciate you. Make sure you go there and take care of that. I'm Mark Holmes, and as always, you know how we rule. <laughs> oh, big run. Oh, he fumbled. Oh, he fumbled. Oh, he fumbled. Oh, shit. He's still going. Oh, he's 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 going. Oh,